It's starting to feel a lot like 2010 again on Twitch, thanks to the resurgence of one of the most popular games of all time, Minecraft. I'm sorry. What? Menu. How is this possible? But there's a catch. A lot of these Twitch streamers aren't playing the game the way you remember it. They're not starting a world in order to explore, build, and survive, or to enjoy the game at a nice leisurely pace. Oh my god, you got a cow! No, in fact, they're doing the exact opposite. They're trying to rip through a game that was never supposed to end as fast as humanly possible. Zoomers L U L yeah, okay. title screen button. 30 minute lag on the dot. Hey XQC, every time I get down in my feelings, I always tune in. Zoomers L L U L to death. Okay, well, I almost didn't die. Alright, that was good practice. These days, it seems like every popular game's lifespan is kinda short. One day everyone's raving about Fall Guys. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. No! The next, they've moved on to Among Us. <laughs> but over the years, one game in particular has been able to withstand the test of time. And that's Minecraft. It's been around for 11 years and people still can't get enough, with 126 million players logging into it every month. This, this game was always for little kids, and everybody on Twitch used to always make fun of it. Until Twitch became old enough that all the little kids that we used to make fun of are now like 18 and they call us boomers. So now, the 18 year old Minecraft people like lead us, and all the older people that used to shit on it are just like, Oh, I always liked that game. Ooh, look at me. Ooh, doo, doo. I am one of those people. But on top of having a massive player base, Minecraft boasts an equally dedicated, content-hungry audience across both YouTube and Twitch. And that's become especially apparent over the last 12 months. While its resurgence started with many streamers returning to the classic adventurer mode, by the end of the year, others had set their sights on the brutally unforgiving hardcore mode. You didn't tell me it exploded, donator. But today, the newest Minecraft craze on Twitch isn't to do with one of the already established modes or a server like Skyblock. It's with speedrunning. And while Minecraft speedrunning has been a very niche thing since the addition of The End in December of 2016, it didn't become a spectacle until a faceless YouTuber by the name of Dream came along. What the f Dream is one of the hottest content creators on the planet, having just passed 12 million subscribers on his channel in little over a year. Back in July of 2019, his jump in popularity began when he released a string of videos attempting to figure out PewDiePie's Let's Play Minecraft seed. Yes, that randomly generated number that had over 18 quintillion possibilities. This is the team that found that number just by watching PewDiePie. From there, Dream released more and more Minecraft specific content, with his most popular videos focusing on his speedrunning and insane challenges. Dream is such a god at the game that at one point, he even held the world record for the glitchless any percent random seed category. You have 18 seconds, you have 18, you have 18 seconds, seconds. Come on. Get, in. get in, get in, no way! Yeah! Anyway, midway through 2020, Dream expanded to Twitch and started streaming there with his friend and fellow Minecraft juggernaut, George Not Found. And it wasn't long before the two content kings and their exploits began making some serious waves. We can uh, wiggle your hips. Wiggle your There's 60,000 people looting. here right now. We can do a really cool thing. If we all clap when no, I say we so. Said this stupid meme and let's just 
we can just do it and then everyone's Bro, clapping. No, shut up. And in no time, Dream, George, and the rest of their crew caught the attention of Twitch giants like Forzen through their insane challenge videos and crazy speedrunning antics. It's by Dream, not Dream. What the f Well, uh. All right, uh, that seems like an easy enough record to break at one point, not gonna lie. Now, Forzen is no stranger to Minecraft content. In fact, just a couple months earlier, he spent countless hours trying to beat hardcore mode. But the any% percent random seed category presented a new challenge for him. One that proved to be harder than he could have ever imagined. Loading. The one 20, with a lot loading, of them in, yeah. 46 percent. Big package. Loading. Done. Save title screen. But Forzen's struggles caught the attention of Clint Stevens, who made it his mission to beat the competitive Swede's time. And it wasn't long before he passed on the Minecraft speedrunning bug to Ms. Kiff and Simply. Would you want to do a bet with <laughs> me and Simply on seeing who can get under an hour first? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. I'm trying to beat Forzen, so we gotta beat Forzen, one of us. And of course, a party just wouldn't be a party without XQC getting involved on the shenanigans. You know what else Desert Biome! As the days went on, the divide in competition between all of these streamers became pretty apparent. While Clint took a break from streaming and simply dominated the pack, Ms. Kiff brought up the rear after having difficulties breaking one hour. It was a failure that cost him his hair. It's such a shame that Minecraft ruined your personal best time on the Rune Fair speedrun. This left only Forzen and XQC to go toe to toe, mano a mano, one on one in their bid for the Minecraft speedrunning crown. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, the fucking dollars, dude. The fucking dollars. Despite the tremendous heart shown by both, midway through October, it was XQC who finally pushed his limits, crushing Forzen's record by 14 minutes. Holy shit! Ah. Time! 33! Beat that shit! Beat that Forzen! Beat it! For weeks, XQC's record, which he improved to 32 minutes, stood uncontested. Run after run, Forzen's streams had one simple goal, get under half an hour. And midway through November, the madman finally succeeded. Sub by the f***ing 30, dude. That could've been a f***ing sub f***ing 10, but I was milking it. All the while, Baldkiff quietly continues to grind in the background, desperately trying to get back into the race between XQC and Forsen. It's been a couple of months since these guys started doing this, and honestly, there's no end in sight. In fact, even more streamers are plopping a timer down on their streams as they follow in the footsteps of Dream. I'm not down. 11 years in, and Minecraft is still one of the most watched games on the planet. And this is exactly why. With guys like Dream and George Not Found continuing to innovate and unearth new ways for people to enjoy Minecraft, the game remains as fresh and addictive as it did all those years ago. And honestly, that's not changing anytime soon.